Well, if you think the tools I'm holding here in my hand are just for carpenters, think again. Ford actually and several other OEMs recommend that you use a level like this combination carpenter square level on the front of the radar unit itself physically on a level surface in the shop to do a vertical adjustment in the bay. So the scan tool is not required for the vertical adjustment. Now the horizontal adjustment is done on the road with the scan tool. But in the bay, simply using on a level surface, you got to make sure your bay is level. I'm going to get down here on the ground. Just get an idea and you might put it two or three points between the front of the vehicle and the back of the vehicle and just see how level your floor is in your shop. You don't want very many degrees and there's a little bit of a controversy. It varies from manufacturer to manufacturer about how many degrees of change of elevation you can have within 20 feet of the car on the floor of the shop. But this floor is fairly level and we can double check it with this level here. Same thing, the longer level is going to be obviously more accurate. They make a smaller version of these. I would recommend the larger version because you're going to use this short edge, not this longer edge, the shorter edge. And on the smaller version that's about two thirds as big as this one, um, this part is much shorter. The longer you got, like this is a much more accurate level for a, a longer distance being measured than this little short level. So what we're going to do on a level floor, we're going to put this right up to the radar unit. Maybe check it a couple spots and look how far this one is off. If you look at the very top, we're okay. At the bottom, looks like maybe there's a little bit of warpage. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the top. Yeah, actually, it's pretty far off level, no matter where you measure it on the face of the radar sensor. So what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and turn these nuts just like you're adjusting a headlight. So instead of the bubbles on the headlight, you got the bubble here on your level and you're going to adjust it to its vertical level. The horizontal this way, left to right, again that's done on the road with the scan tool when you're driving the vehicle. So let's go ahead and grab an 11 millimeter, that's what it takes, and we're going to do a little bit of tweaking on this vehicle. Now to see if the vehicle itself is level, stock tires, stock suspension can be very important to making sure all these things work right. So one thing you can do is take a level like this or maybe one a little longer and put it on the threshold. So when you open the door, that part in this car would, you know, would say Ford, whatever, right there between the carpet and the rocker panel, that's the most level place on any vehicle is that threshold. So you would see if the vehicle's level, your floor's level, the vehicle's level, and then you would do this measurement. You might have the wrong size tires on the front versus the rear or a suspension issue, and that's going to throw everything off. So let's go ahead and see if we can crank on this. I want to make this thing go, let's see. Let's figure out what we need to do here. So if I do this, the bubble goes more to where I need to go. So this, the top of this thing needs to go down. That means I'm going to have to loosen this one and tighten this one. And that should make it go down a bit. All right, we'll tighten this one as well. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're pretty close to level. And close or just okay is not okay when it comes to ATIS. We've got to have things right on the bubble. No pun intended. That's right on the bubble. That's right in the middle. Now they also have Toyota, for example, in their parts kit for ATIS calibrations a digital angle meter. It's very similar, about this big. It actually looks like a small tape measure, but it's digital. You turn it on, you lay it up on something flat, and it tells you exactly how many degrees. Remember, we're looking for less than one degree of uh, offset. So whether it be this way or this way, less than one degree is our goal.